morning, this is John with JDF Marketing. Today we're going to show, do a short video on the, the, how to program the, con, the main controller on the, the DW118 and the uh, 138 machines, which are a couple of our core, core machines. Um, the 118 is a single head, 120 volt countertop, uh, makes one flavor, very high capacity. Um, it's probably one of the highest capacity 120 volt machines on the market. Um, our, our refrigeration is very efficient and so it's a workhorse. Here we have the 138 which is a twin head machine, floor model. It's 220 but it only takes a 20 amp circuit and, and so it's a good workhorse. Very popular for yogurt chops, um, delis, you know, just a basic all around good Workhorse machine has three quart hoppers or three gallon hoppers, just like the 118. Two quart cylinders. Um, it produces a lot of ice cream. So you know that's where we're at today. We're going to go through. Both machines have um, two parts to the control system. We have the touch screen control, which basically turns it to auto. It turns on the hopper refrigeration, it turns it to wash. All those functions are done by the touchscreen control. The other part of the control system is the um, logic controller. This controller has a lot of features built into it, which I'm going to try to explain and also explain how the settings need to be um, when, you, when you first get the machine or if you ever have to replace a controller for some reason. Um, so that you know what to do and what, what the settings mean. Also, that it comes up with a couple error codes that can help you diagnose what's going on with the machine. So, in order to set anything on this machine, you have to have, this is the, the specified wrench that fits in there very nicely. If you lose that and you can't find it, uh, don't worry. A standard paper clip is the old reliable. That's what I keep in my pocket half the time. So um, the middle hole is your function hole. And then you got you have three holes here. The middle one is what changes the function. Then you got uh, basically like the top hole is an up arrow. arrow. The bottom one's a down arrow. And, and so that's how you move through the menu. So when you first start, you hold it in for about five seconds until it starts flashing. U is the upper limit of the, the thermal cutout. So when the machine cuts out on temperature control, we have it set at minus 10. Um, that's when, um, if you ran the barrel out of product um, and it tripped out, that's what would, when it would come back on. D is the, the bottom limit, that's when it's going to trip out at minus 20. When the barrel, when the gas in the barrel gets to minus 20, that's when it's going to trip out. So when it raises, when it warms back up to minus 10, then it's going to come on. P is our, is our viscosity setting for our amps. Um, 5.6 on this machine seems to be pretty, pretty um, nice. Um, this has a timeout feature, so if you're Going through this, you know how you have to set things quickly. F is the time that the beater motor stays on after the compressor shuts off and still runs to pick up any refrigeration left in the freezing cylinder before it actually shuts completely down. The timeout feature um, keeps you moving through the menu. If you don't get done, um, it won't save some of the changes, so you have to go back and do it over. Um, so now we got F and P. E is a, how the, the time in between recycling. So every 10 minutes it will cycle to check the product viscosity. B is how many times you pull the lever before the compressor comes on. I always set that at 1. And then you go back and it goes back to A which is the standard um, menu readout. It basically, when the machine is on and running, um, it will read that. That's those are the amps that the motor is drawing. Um, when it gets up to the 5.6, then it will shut off, and your product will be ready to serve. 
Thank you and have a nice day. This is John Freudenberg with JDF Marketing. You can reach me at uh, 817-560-0909 or you can reach us at Ocean Power America um, for any other um, questions or, or inquiries. Thank you and have a good day.